Hey guys, I'm Saray. Um, welcome to my YouTube. <laughs> so in today's video, I'm gonna be doing like a smoky eyeliner look. I really like smoky eye looks and I've done them before, but I never really get them to look exactly the way that I want them to. So hopefully I'll do better in this video. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna start with putting on the Tula Skincare Brightening Treatment Drops. I like these, but they're a little pricey, and I just feel like they're not, like, amazing for the price, but, I mean, I do like them. So I'm just gonna squirt a little bit in my hand. And I don't do any um, foundation or anything like that. I like to keep my makeup pretty natural. They do make my skin feel really nice. But my favorite is the Acure Rose Oil. That is such a nice face oil. It, whenever I use it, I feel like my skin just looks so much smoother and more clear. Like, I love it so much. And the only thing is, I don't really use it when I do like makeup or anything because I feel like it takes a little bit longer to absorb into my skin so like my, my face looks like greasy and oily whereas this one absorbs really quickly I, so that I like that about this one Good. so I use the rose oil mainly right before I go to bed because I do love it I'm gonna use whoops the NYX Professional Makeup Eye Pencil in black. So I think I'm just gonna start by creating a wing. And I don't really care if it looks a bit messy because I'm gonna smoke it out anyway, so it doesn't really matter. It doesn't need to be perfect. My wing kind of looks like trash, but that's okay. <laughs> so I'm gonna use the Urban Decay Naked 2 Basics palette, and I'm gonna use the shade Undone. It's like this, like a grayish kind of shade. I think that looks pretty good, actually. Hmm. I'm happy with the way that looks. I should probably leave it alone now. It's my problem. Whenever I do eyeliner, I just can't stop. I like, I'll do this one, and 
I'll think it'll look pretty good and then I'll go over and do my left eye and think it'll it looks 10 times better and then I'll just keep trying to fix this one to make it look the same and I'll end up making it look 10 times worse. I'm actually happy with the way it's coming out. So this is my second video that I'm going to be posting on YouTube. My first one was um, my holiday makeup routine. And I'm not extremely happy with how it turned out. Okay, so like, first of all, I should have posted it way earlier than I did. I posted it literally the week of Christmas, and I wish I would have posted it, you know, like the first week of December instead, because like, I feel like by the time I had it up, everyone was like, all christmas out, you know what I mean? Like, so that was kind of a fail. And not only that, but it was just a cringy mess. <laughs> like, I know it was my first YouTube video, and it's not going to be the greatest, but, like, I cringed watching myself. <laughs> yeah, I definitely want to do another holiday makeup routine um, this Christmas. But I obviously want to post it sooner than I did. also want to make it, like, a bit more glam-ish the holiday makeup routine because the makeup I did you could really kind of like you could barely see it in the video so I just want to do more make it more fun okay so that's the eyeliner now I'm gonna curl my lashes. Well, actually, first I'm going to brush them. Okay, we're going to curl my lashes. I'm going to use the L'Oreal Paris Voluminous Original Mascara. This is the best mascara ever, in my opinion. I haven't been able to find one that tops this yet. I'm trying really hard not to get any mascara on my eyelid, because I always do.
actually gonna curl my lashes one more time just because I feel like once I apply the mascara the curl kind of falls a bit so that annoys me okay now that looks better um, now I'm just going to do the bottom lashes I try not to put too much on the bottom lashes because I don't like them to look crazy long. Okay. I used to put like the same amount on my bottom lashes as I would on my top lashes, but then the bottom ones started to look like spider legs to me, so I stopped doing that. <laughs> And to finish off the eye makeup, I'm going to go in with my Naked Urban Decay Honey Palette. And I'm going to use this shade right here. Whoops. This shade right here, it's called Flyby. It's, it's almost gone because I use it all the time. And I'm just going to put that in my inner corner here. I think this just makes an eye look look so pretty no matter what kind of eye look it is. How did I makeup on my forehead <laughs> okay next I think is blush this is my favorite blush it's the Laura Mercier and it's in the shade chai I love this shade so much And I'm just going to brush it across my nose. Just so I look a little bit sun-kissed, even though it's been nothing but cloudy and rainy. <laughs> I blend for 10 years. <laughs> blend with my fingers a bit too because I feel like this really helps make it like melt into your skin so you don't see like any lines or anything. Okay, next I'm gonna go in with highlight. So I have this Tarte Glow Tape highlighter. I like it, but I'm just having the hardest time finding a highlighter that I love because I'm looking for one that doesn't have like hardly any shimmer in it. Like I want it to look nice and glowy and natural and I just feel like every single highlight that I purchase has shimmer in it. I don't want to look glittery. <laughs> so I bought this one because it says glow tape and like I said I do like it but there's just like so much shimmer. I don't know. If you guys have any good recommendations on a glowy highlighter, please leave them in the comment section because I am having the hardest time finding one. Oops. I go like back and forth. Sometimes I really like the highlight on the tip of my nose and I'm like sometimes I don't. <laughs> I don't know. 
We'll do a little bit. Just a little bit. And I'm gonna put some on the cupid's bow, because I do like that. Okay. And I'm gonna go back in with my beauty blender. And then again, I'll just dab it in with my fingers, just to make sure it's really blended. I feel like I may have put way too much on. Shoot. And then, I don't know why, but I always go back in with a little more blush after I highlight. I feel like it just does something. I don't know. Alright, now I'm just gonna brush up my eyebrows. I don't do too much to them. I finally got them how I like them. <laughs> They were so thin before, and they had, like, so many bald spots. This one looks great. This one is a little bit of an issue, because it still has a tiny little bald spot right there that, like, will not grow. But other than that, I think they look pretty good. I finally got them to a point where I feel like I don't need to use an eyebrow pencil and that was my goal because I really don't like the way drawn in eyebrows look on me anyway. Um, I think that's about it. I think I just need to do lips so I'll be right back because I forgot to bring in my lip color. <laughs> so I'm gonna use the Revlon Colorstay Longwear Lip Liner in shade Nude. And I'm just going to blend it a bit with my finger. And then I'm just going to use the Revlon Super Lustrous for gloss. It's just a clear gloss. It smells like a cupcake, <laughs> like a vanilla cupcake. This is the finished look. Mm, this is my attempt at a smoky eyeliner look happy with how it came out. I think it looks cute. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. But yeah, so stay tuned for more videos. I have a lot of them in mind. I want to do maybe like some baking videos, some cleaning, organizing, stuff like that. So just be on the lookout for them. Um, yeah, if you want, you can also check out mine and my sister's channel. We haven't really posted anything on there yet, but we plan on doing a video sometime this weekend, so. Also check out my sister's separate channel as well. She does like a lot of ASMR videos over there, so definitely check that out. Yeah. I guess that's it. Bye.